did GPT-5 solve previously unsolved math problems? Unfortunately, the answer is no. But there has been a lot of discourse on X about this over the past week, and I thought I'd make a video explaining the story and trying to get all of the facts straight. So about a week ago, there was this tweet by Sebastian Bubeck at OpenAI who said that GPT-5 Pro is superhuman. At Literature Search, it just solved Erdős problem number 339 by realizing that it had actually been solved 20 years ago. Now, he clearly states that someone else, or GPT-5 realized that someone else had found the answer to this particular problem. But then there was another tweet, I believe by this individual, Mark, who said that he and another collaborator found solutions to 10 Erdős problems that were listed as open and that progress had been made for 11 other problems. Now, I think this tweet also confused uh, a lot of people, but before I go any further, I think I should explain who is Erdős and what are these Erdős problems. Uh, Paul Erdős was a Hungarian mathematician who I think it's really funny here he was described as the oddballs oddball in Time magazine but he was one of those prolific mathematicians in the 20th century he published so much there's this thing called the Erdős number which just basically tells you how far you are in terms of publications from him so for example if you publish with Erdős your Erdős number is one if you publish with someone who published with Erdős it's two and so on and so forth and he's just this mythical figure in uh, mathematics and he left behind, I think, something like 1,100 problems that were unsolved that he posed to the community by the time uh, of his death. This is uh, the website here. And I think the I think the tweet from Mark really confused people because I, I the way it was phrased, at least, made it seem that GPT-5 Pro independently came up with the proofs and the theorems and end-to-end -end solved the problem which is not the case. Like in Sebastian's tweet, what it actually had done was just realized these problems had been solved by other people in the past, but were not uh, updated to reflect that aspect of them. We also saw tweets from, for example, Kevin Whale, who is, I believe, VP of Science at uh, OpenAI, state the same thing that Mark said, he just retweeted here. But we also saw response from Demis Hassavis, from Google DeepMind, and he's a Nobel laureate in, in chemistry, and he said this is embarrassing. And I think that when I read what Sebastian and Mark had had tweeted, I don't actually think what they were saying was incorrect. I think it was just phrased in a way that most people thought that GPT-5 independently solved the problem by writing proofs and theorems and and these statements, and and and, and it wasn't exactly finding the solutions by just finding out that someone else had already done it. So again, just to reiterate, it did not solve these problems independently, and it was just finding work that other people had done, which is not to say that it's not impressive. I think that's really impressive that GPT-5 could be used to search the literature in such an extensive manner to find the answers to problems that we didn't know had answers to them. I mean, who knows what else is out there? But I do think we have to be careful when making these kinds of announcements. However, I will cut Sebastian and Mark some slack here because I can understand from a researcher's perspective the excitement one may have when you uncover a previously unknown fact such as the solution to a problem actually exists, whether or not you were the one who came up with it or not. But I think we just have to be careful with making these statements of GPT-5 finding the solutions to problems by actually finding what other people have done as opposed to it coming up with its own solution independently. All this was also brought to light by Thomas Bloom, who is the owner and maintainer of erdishproblems.com, who said this was a very dramatic uh, misrepresentation. So I think, again, we need to just be very, very careful when stating these kinds of claims that GPT-5 Pro has found solutions, and we have to make sure we expand on what we mean when we say found, because that there's a, there's a lot of possible misinformation that can be disseminated there and spread if we're not careful. And lastly, I just want to point out that Sebastian and I also believe Kevin Whale also tweeted today uh, saying that they didn't mean to misrepresent what GPT-5 had done. And it's just very exciting that these uh, discoveries with GPT-5 can, can happen. So with that, I hope that clarifies things. GPT-5 did not actually solve these problems end-to-end -end independently, but found the solutions to these problems by searching the literature and finding 
work that other people had done that just was not reported on the Erdish Problems website. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give this video a like and a comment. I'd love to hear your thoughts, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy, everyone.